in this overstimulated, hyper-connected world, it is so easy to compare ourselves to the person next to us and feel like we're so far behind in life. Here's 17 signs that you're doing better than you actually think you are. So firstly, you paid the bills this month, maybe you even had some extra to spend on non-essentials. It doesn't matter how you got it done. What matters is you got it done and you figured it out regardless. Two, you have a job for however many hours at whatever rate, you're earning money that helps you eat something, sleep on something, wear something every day. It's not a failure if it doesn't look like the way you thought it would look like. You're valuing your independence and taking care of yourself. For you have time to do something you enjoy, and even if what you enjoy is sitting on the couch and ordering a takeaway and watching some Netflix. Fourth point, you're not worried about where your next meal is coming from. There's food in the fridge, and you have enough to actually pick and choose what you want to eat. Number five, you can eat because you enjoy the food, not because of sheer survival. Six, you're not the same person you were a year ago. You're learning, you're evolving, you can identify the ways which you change, whether it's for better or for worse. Seven, you have one or two truly close friends. People worry about the quantity, but eventually tend to realize the number of people you can claim to be in your tribe has no bearing how much you feel intimacy, acceptance, community, or joy. In the end, what you truly want is a bunch of friends who know and love us no matter what. Eight, you have the time and the means to do things beyond the bare minimum. Maybe go on hikes, maybe you buy books for yourself, have a chance to go to the gym, or maybe you took a day trip to a neighboring city, or maybe even went away to another country. You don't have to work all hours of the day to simply just to survive. Nine, you question yourself, you doubt your life, you feel miserable some days. This means you're still open for growth. This means you can be objective and self-aware. The best people go home and think to themselves, maybe there is another way. 10. You have a space of your own. It doesn't even have to be a home or an apartment. All you need is a room, a corner, a desk where you can create or rest whenever you like, where you can control who gets to be a part of your weird little world. It's one of the few controls we can actually exert. 11. You can afford a train ride, a cup of coffee or the fuel in your car this morning. The smallest conveniences and often necessities are not variable in your life. 12. You have a selection of clothing at your disposal. You're not worried about having a hat or maybe a warm coat during winter and you even have some cool clothes for summer. 13. You've lost relationships. More important than the fact that you simply had them in the first place is that you or your former partner chose not to settle. You opened yourself up to the possibility that there's something or someone else out there for you. 14. You're interested in something, whether it's how to live a happier life, maintain better relationships, maintain better shape, reading movies, society, something intrigues you to explore it. 15. You know how to take care of yourself. You know how many hours you need to sleep each night, who to turn to when you don't feel too good, where to go when you want to have some fun. 16. You're working towards a goal. Even if you're exhausted and you feel like it's miles away, you have a dream for yourself, however vague or malleable. 17. You've been through a bit of crap. You can look at the challenges you're facing right now and you can compare them to the challenges you thought you could never get over. You can reassure yourself through your own experience. Life doesn't get easier, you simply get smarter. Okay, thank you for watching guys. Like all of this was inspired by this book, 101 Essays or Change the Way You Think, Chapter 9 to be precise. This really resonated with me when I was reading it. All of us tend to forget how much we actually have going for us and how grateful all of us can be for the small things we have.